Ooh, baby, are we gonna have fun with this? Hi. So you guys know that I take protein pre-workout. BCAAs, but what a lot of you don't know is that I also am a fan of the multivitamin, the fish oil, and the creatine. Let me give you my opinion. My opinion. Before you comment, Google what opinion means. Okay, bye. All right, so let me tell you why I take these three things. Now remember, these are supplements, so they are supplements to your diet. So you do absolutely need to take these things. No, you could get them from your food technically, but here's what I take. Everyone is gonna have their own opinion on this, but I take fish oil because brain, heart, joints. Good for those things. And um, with fish oil, you wanna make sure you track these because one capsule is one gram of fat, or at least the ones that I've been taking. Things that I look for in a fish oil is a coating that doesn't make it taste like doo-doo baby. And also I want one that is not gonna give me fish burps. Next up, the multivitamin. Um, again, I, I get about two servings of veggies and two servings of fruit a day, but I kind of take this as a just in case and it makes me feel better knowing that I am getting more micronutrients from, from a multivitamin. I'm pretty sure there's studies that say multivitamin doesn't work. Well, whatever, I just take it, you know, it's up to you. And third is creatine. Now technically creatine I believe is the most proven supplement to work. It is scientifically proven. It is going to increase the ATP. Uh, I don't wanna get into that. I have like a whole video on that. You can look it up. There's plenty of research on it. But in my opinion, creatine is so cheap that it's almost like, why the heck not? I've never loaded, well, I used to load it way back in the day, but I don't cycle off of it. I take five grams every single day. Um, and it's just, it's literally so cheap that I'm just like, what the heck, right? Um, I don't notice any like water retention, even though that's what it takes does is pulls more water in the muscle but I haven't noticed any bloating or anything like that um, I would look for a micronized creatine uh, pr preferably creapure that's like the purest form of creatine if you get like a store brand creatine it will it will literally look like you're eating flour and it'll be hard to take this you can just toss it back and swig some water um, I take three fish oil a day one multivitamin a day or one serving of a multivitamin a day Different multivitamins obviously will have different amounts you're supposed to take, and I take five grams of creatine. But it's just advice. That's all it is. At the end of the day, you can do whatever the- Surprise, Daryl's here. Say hey, Daryl. Hey, everyone. You look like a scrub. You get it? Because he's wearing a scrub. So, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go hopefully shoot a new promo video for the new compression pants, which if you didn't know, is coming out on Thursday, January 26th, 12 p.m. Eastern time. We got three designs of pants, one pair of shorts. Anyway, Daryl is gonna be the model because I wanna use the new gimbal that we got. We're gonna try it out, hopefully it won't uh, break or something. And you're gonna be the model. I'm so excited. You're gonna be like a runner. So we're gonna have him wearing pants, wear the shorts under the pants. I wash all these things for you, by the way. Shirt, hat, Headphones, you're gonna look like a real athlete. Like Usain Bolt. Who's that? It's the world's fastest runner, bro. Yeah, well, you're gonna be wearing these here. Basically, you look like him. Do you need to do your hair? Oh, uh, yeah. Do I go stand right here? In the center. Uh, For the back? No, right there, that's, that's fine. Okay. Uh, just like, clap your hands in front of you. Perfect, dude, you look great, man. You ready to model? I'm so excited. Brings me back to my Abercrombie days. Yeah, you guys didn't know Daryl was an Abercrombie model. And then he got ugly. I got fat. So if you see on the right up here, those are the steps where we're trying to go. Did Daryl, do you even know where you're looking at? Yeah, there you go. Okay. <laughs> that's where we're trying to go. Now how we get there, that's how we figured out. Our original plan was to go to the steps behind the Lincoln Memorial, but apparently it's like all gated off because of Trump. Thanks, Obama. Yeah, thanks, Obama. Um, so that like completely ruins the entire concept. I don't know why they would block off the stairs behind the Lincoln Memorial. So we're gonna go somewhere else where there's some stairs. We just need Daryl to run up some stairs or look like he's running up some stairs. You know what I'm saying? All right, so Abraham Lincoln was a little too cool to hang out with us today, or at least hang out behind Abraham Lincoln. So we're gonna go hang out with who? Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson at his big old dome memorial because there's steps there too. 
it's very very windy so I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to vlog so I might just make a little montage and then I'll show you the edit that we made maybe but either way enjoy yourself sit back relax grab some pretzels it's delicious sir I think it's illegal to do that sir sir get back you gotta pay for that sir you pay for that bread sir hey So we're done with the gimbal shots. How are you feeling, Daryl? Tired. Getting your cardio in. I know. If you guys didn't know, again, Daryl is going on the Miami trip with me, so he's also cutting. So this is this is good for you. This is my head. This is your head too. Yeah. But now we're gonna switch to just like a fixed lens, and I'm gonna put the gimbal away, and hopefully it turns out pretty well. Uh, like I mentioned with the last one, is like I don't even know the song or anything. I just I film a lot of stuff. Then I spent like an hour looking for the right song and then tried to just make it into something cool. So let's get back to work. Okay, so we're switching to the 24 to 70 lens. I'm gonna clean it real fast. A little pro tip I can give you. Whenever you're filming in an environment where you're not gonna change from that environment for a little bit, let's say you're gonna be filming there for an hour, or 30 minutes, whatever, set everything in your camera to manual. And even the white balance, a lot of people do not do manual white balance or custom white balance and you really really should because every time you change if it's on auto like the camera will adjust the colors and it will make your end picture kind of look weird uh, also you want to do manual ISO so the ISO doesn't change manual everything if you're in an environment where you're not going to change anything also major key is purchase ND filters because in a situation like this, it's really bright outside and if I want like a blurred out background, you're not gonna achieve that with your expensive ass lens unless you have an ND filter. This is adjustable. Let's begin. the whole shoot can you imagine if I vlogged with this thing look at that I'm walking up steps here's me running up steps how's the camera just glides right pretty cool look at this thing just spin around so smooth here's me walking down steps can you even tell no Daryl's trying on the gimbal look at that so now turn how's it go now when you rotate your wrist the camera will, the, uh, the camera will turn well I kind of lower it a little bit like walk upstairs. Look at that, dude, so smooth, dude. But although it's gonna make your shots really smooth, you still wanna kind of walk in a smooth pattern. They don't need to learn how to use this. That's all right. What if I have my own filmer and someone who had a gimbal? Oh yeah, by the way, Christian Guzman is definitely gonna buy one of these right now. <laughs> I'm calling it, dude. We're gonna take a thumbnail, then we're gonna get out of here. You want some food? Daryl's dumb and ate all this fat macros. No, I have 40, I ate 46 and now I have 14 left for today. Idiot. It's, it's 3 p.m. All done with the shoot, gonna go get some food. Had a lot of fun using the gimbal. Uh, hopefully I'm only gonna get better at it. I've said it a lot, especially when I was like putting money in my computer and I buy all this camera gear. Invest in yourself. Take money from what you earn, whatever it is you're doing, and invest it back into things that can make what you're doing better and more efficient and with more sick angles, right? Sick angles, dude. Invest in yourself, do it. About to start a full day. 
It's pretty lit in here with day passes. Don't need no water, dude. That was easy. That was easy, man. So I bought a present for Louie, the pit bull. Bought this bad boy on Amazon. It's a two foot long rawhide bone. Mainly I got it because Louie keeps uh, taking all my shoes as toys. So I figured this way, you know, this will last. Someone on Amazon said this lasted their bull mastiff two weeks. Louie probably <laughs> three, three days. Get rid of delinquents. Let's see how long it takes you to destroy this, dude. Look at Flex <laughs> <laughs> Louie, I got this. Okay, okay, take it. Okay. There you go. All right, so what do we just do? I just brushed a dog's teeth for the first time. Uh, I don't have a dog, so I've never brushed a dog's teeth, but apparently they don't like it too much. He, uh, well, the good thing is he liked the taste of the toothpaste, because I was worried about that. But he doesn't he like, like the brush in his mouth. He had, like, on my hands, like, you know. You don't want cavities. Can dogs get cavities? That's a dumb question, right? They have to get cavities. They can get. They just get. Like, no, not cavities, but they can. Um, well, I don't know. Maybe their back teeth can, depending on. They get bark, bark at teeth. Man, that's dumb. Uh, but we put together a little montage of Flex brushing his teeth. Enjoy. This is the way we brush our teeth. Brush our teeth. Brush our teeth. This is the way we brush our teeth. We do it in. Flex, good job. Give me a high five, dude. High five. All right. Fist bump. All right. I'll bump your head. Boom. There you go. Getting to edit the montage from today. And first of all, I know someone's going to comment. Hey, Max, did you use that song like a year ago? Yes, okay. You know how hard it is to find a song that flows? Anyway, eating these things, Chex Mix Spicy. These, uh, these are no joke. What do you think? Spicy. It's like a little spicy meatball. I told you. It was Those spicy. are sick headphones, dude. What? Those are sick headphones, man. Yeah, but they're not they're not sound canceling because I'm not playing anything in it right now. So I forgot to film an outro for this video, so it's the next day. So thank you guys for watching. A little longer than my normal videos. This is about 15 minutes. Also, uh, it was a different style of filming for me because I basically 
like I originally was planning on going to do that video shoot and just filming just a shoot and leaving and not vlogging during that but I was like maybe some people would like to see the kind of behind the scenes stuff if you enjoyed this style of video and you want me to do more behind the scenes of when I go out and shoot this kind of stuff I would love to do that for you because I had a lot of fun doing it also with the workout it was a raw edit with just you know what I did for that workout on the screen so let me know if you like this slightly different not drastically different but either way hit the thumbs up button thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video Goodbye!